Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. We are today Friday, May 22nd, 2015. And thank you so much for the people who have subscribed to my channel. And thank you so much for the people who are watching this particular video. So as promised, the topic discussion that we are going to have today are going to be in regards of the banking system in Haiti, as well as the, as well as the justice system in Haiti. Um, I felt like since I was going to address the banking system, I would also want to address the um, justice system of Haiti. Now, because both of these topics are definitely going to be more on the maybe a little bit rough and negative side, more so a truthful side, I felt like I wanted to bring a little bit a uh, different topic, you know, to be a little bit more on the positive and brighter side. So. Um, Without further ado, before we begin these topic discussions, I wanted to talk about 10 ways to be, oh my God, the chicken are killing me. I wanted to talk about 10 ways to make life more enjoyable. I felt like, um, at first I wanted to address a video about making your work more enjoyable, but then I said, let's just include something that everybody could learn from. Um, these things that I'm going to be talking about are things that I do every day in my life. I try to incorporate each one of them. Not only that, um, you know, I also want you know, I'm no different than anybody else. And we all individuals in this world these days, we have a lot that could stress us out. And it, it really can take a simple matter for us to become very unhappy and become very depressive. So let's just begin with them. The first thing that I wrote down is be mindful. Life is too short. Um, one of the things that keep me a beat and definitely keep me happy is to always remember that tomorrow is no guarantee that i don't know what tomorrow holds so when i keep that in my mind i know that today is what i have so i try my best to make today as in enjoyable as possible because i know that i don't know what's in store for me tomorrow so i make sure to leave every day i try my best to live every day as if it were my last. Number two, find your purpose. There is not, there, there isn't such of a greater feeling as in working and living for your purpose. I don't know what your own purpose is, but you have to find it. Once you find it, it's going to be that thing that keeps you motivating. Some people, they always feel like having children is a purpose. Having children is not really a purpose in life. Being married is not a purpose. Having sex is not a purpose. Gaining materialistic things are not purposeful things. Why? Because they do disappear of a blink of an eye. Your child will grow up and will not be that little baby that you have every day. Your child will grow up and have his or her own life. Your spouse, even if your spouse is always going to be in your life, your spouse will not be with you 24 seven. And what happens when you just turn your life for that particular person, when you give that person everything that you have, is that, you know, when the person doesn't give, it, give you every thing about themselves, then that's when the problems stop coming. You, you need to have your own purpose. You need to have something to live for. Materialistic things, you know, they go out of style. They break down. They broke. They steal them or you lose them or it is, there's no value in, into them anymore. So materialistic things are not pers pers purposeful things also. Money. Money is not having a problem because you make money, but you also spend money. So if you, your focus in any and every area of your life is to gain more money, then you are going to be totally unhappy. Because the more money that you acquire is the more thing that you would want to do. And sometimes it's the more problem that you ran into in life. So don't focus on these things to be in your purpose. Your, pers your purpose has to be something that makes you totally happy from the inside. It has to be that thing that you live for, that you wake up for every day, and that you're completely happy about just because you understand that you are living your life out of purpose. Number three, get rid of toxic 
people. I'm pretty sure if you type toxic people on YouTube, you will find thousands of videos about people who are explaining to you what toxic people are. Toxic people are people who are sucking the life out of you. They're taking everything without giving anything back. Get rid of these people. If it's a child that you have, you know, maybe you feel like you have a child and the child all, you know, you feel like you are only giving. Well, I'm, but as a mother, as a parent, as maybe a mentor, you have to also understand that children take more than they give out because they are children. Children are a little bit selfish. So this is one of the reasons that you have to be very careful if you want to either be involved with children, meaning if you work with children all the time, don't expect if they love you, then fine. If they feel a certain particular way about you, you have to understand that it's not going to stay. You know, maybe you want to discipline them and they don't love you because of that. You know, children are a special case. So you, you're going to have to need to have the heart if that's you know children in your life that you fit and children can't really be toxic that much you know toxic people are going to be people such as so certain friends certain acquaintances maybe it's your boss maybe it's someone that you have at work maybe it's someone that you live with you gotta find ways to get rid of these people or try to like block these people from your surrounding from your life you there are always that you can do so that you completely block these people away from you all right um number four change your setting this is something that i've been doing my entire life really changing setting um it began when you know i was just a child my parents were trying to figure out you know what is the best place for me because you know i was such a child who came with her own thing i told you that already so i become accustomed to changing my setting but also for some people I feel like you know you never get up you never leave the place where you live you never decide to try something else how do you know what you like and what you don't like you know when I came first when I came back to Haiti that was a big change but then I started to go to the countryside and I realized you know what I like the countryside better than Port of Prince, and then I started to, you know, really go out next to the beach and different beaches, and I realized, ah, you know what, I like that part of the country better than the other part of the country. Changing your setting, it could just be that, you know, you're changing where you are working, you're changing yourself, you're changing, you know, certain appearances about yourself. It's really good. It's going to rejuvenate you. It's going to make you a little bit better. You are going to feel as if you are reinventing yourself. You know, it's sometimes sometimes you just need that. You know, sometimes you just really need to change your setting. Um, I find that doing that has helped me quite a lot in my life and my journey because changing my setting has kind of like reboost my energy at times. So maybe that's something that you might want to try if you feel stuck, if you feel unhappy, if you feel like you just not where you want to be all right number five be still i was watching um the video of alisa lamari i think that's how anisa lamari and um yesterday and she was saying that she just found a new opportunity she's going to move to new york and what she said in her video she said that all these great opportunities started to come for her when she decided to stay still which is something that I'm learning how to do I've realized that for the past month actually actually since after Easter my mind is just not still it's going into every different kind of direction that you can believe and imagine and because of that I I already have trouble sleeping because of that is the worst and I do believe that's why I'm having these migraines is because I'm thinking about too many things at the same times and sometimes when you think about so many things at the same time what ended up what ends up happening is that you can't really see which direction to go because you're thinking about doing this and then you're thinking about doing that and you're thinking about doing something else like your your brain is constantly working so it's not even focused and one thing for the universe to work with that one particular thing for you so i really think that you know this is something that i'm working on so maybe this is something that if you don't know how to stay be still maybe this is something and i'm not talking about physically like just staying still if that works for you but i'm trying to say about like quieting your mind like keep your mind quiet let your mind be still try not to think about any and everything this is something that i woke up and i really wanted to be still i tried it and i'm going to incorporate it every day and number six look good 
feel good. There is no greater feeling than feeling good. And a lot of it has to be with your appearance, you know, and it, it has to be from the inside. Like how, you know, you cannot possibly tell me that you are feeling good and your nails are jacked up, your hair is jacked up, even if you are a man, like you're not groomed enough, you don't have line up, you're not, you know, sometimes you, you know, just give yourself a little boost, you know what I mean? Kind of like go shopping and, you know, don't be afraid to spend a little money on yourself, you know, it's your life. If you work for the money and you work hard enough for your money, you have to be able to like spend a little bit on yourselves you know so it's your life at the end of the day so you know make sure that you're looking good make sure that you have something on that makes you look fresh make sure make sure that your hair is done you know your nails is done your makeup is on point if you wear makeup if you don't wear makeup just make sure that your face is glowing your entire body make sure that it's clean it's groomed your hygiene everything about you so that's definitely going to bring out more of your confidence and then when you walk outside you know you're going to be radiating people are going to feel like oh my god look at that person look at that lady look at that guy he's so sexy you know i like to walk out and sometimes i ran into some young men and they're going to school i like, hate people really have style they're going to school or they're going somewhere and they just smell good they be walking even if the person is walking the person doesn't have a car he's, he's not driving but just the confidence you know what i mean the person has that one watch it's just like it makes you look at the person like hmm, okay i see you know what i mean so do that because if you look good you're gonna feel good about yourself number seven keep positive thought this is very very important don't beat yourself around the bush every time that you feel like you 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 know you have a little negative thoughts and you know i, I do it sometimes sometimes i may just think about something that someone said to me years ago and it's that just that it just pisses me off and i'm like oh you know what I, I, and then you feel like you just want to call the person mind you maybe that happened like years ago but you just want to pick up the phone call the person curse them out or you just you know you're nourishing all these things inside of you for something that happened years ago or something that happened yesterday or earlier this morning but try to you know refocus your thought try to like be positive think positive thing you know if it has to be music that suits you then listen to a particular music that suits you if it has to be if it has to be you know whatever suits your mind try to bring it into a positive state do it slowly do it every day there is this page called we are creator you might want to check it out i listen to them all the time you know this is just to help you and refocus your mind with that positive thoughts all right number eight cook great delicious and healthy food this is so 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 important i actually started to cook for myself this year i know how to cook but given in the house that we have a cook and during the weekend my mom likes to cook so i don't really get a chance to cook myself and i like to be my own boss in the kitchen i don't know if i've ever told you that i don't like to be in the kitchen and having people tell me what to do and how to cook my food i can't stand that so because of that, I've never cooked when I'm here at my house because it's like, you know, my mother, she likes to be around. But now that I really have more, oh, wow, excuse me. Now that I really have more time here in this house than I have, you know, elsewhere, I say things to myself like, you know, you know, that there's this one day on Thursdays is my day off. So it's really the day that I pamper myself. So I cook my own food on Thursday and I love it. You know, I go to this grocery shop usually on Wednesday. I know what I'm going to get in the grocery shop. I cook my own food. I put any and everything that I want in it. I make sure that it's looking really nice, like the decoration. If you are on my Instagram page, Daisy Love 83, if you are on my Instagram, page then you're gonna see sometimes i post breakfast usually thursday i wake up like midday and i'll have like a nice little breakfast i'll make breakfast for myself it doesn't matter my my mom always leave food for me in the house but you know sometimes i just reorganize the food i don't necessarily throw it away but i, I might just take that white rice that she left for me and with the beans i take the beans and i turn it into a chili and I leave the rice for some other day, or I take the rice, I turn it out into like some Chinese rice. You know, I just be creative with my own food. It, it, you know, you have to do that because it's go, it goes inside of you. 
So if it goes inside of you, it has to be nice and delicious. Try that. Try to see that. Rearrange your food. You know, eat out. When I mean eat out, it doesn't mean that eat in the restaurant, but eat outside. Now it's getting nice. You know, put something out. Buy yourself a little wine or something, some tea, some cold tea to cool yourself out. Number nine, take time. Mm -mm. Take time for yourself. Well, number nine, I have two things. So take time for yourself and then clean up. Um, I'm going to go with the, let's go with the take time for yourself. You want to take time for yourself. You know, it's very important. I also feel like people don't take enough time for themselves. I really um, have, been, have been doing that. You could see that. I really have been doing that for myself. And I love it so much. And I'm always taking time for myself. It doesn't matter. If it's some, it, it doesn't matter. Out of the week, you must take time for yourself because you can't give everything to your job. You can't give everything for the household. You can't give, and this is for men, and this is also for women. Because as a man, if you are a husband, there's a lot of responsibility. You got to be a husband, a father, take care of your household. You want to you, you wanna take time for yourself. If you are single, you want to take time for yourself to get to know who you are. You don't want to always be on the phone with your friends. Just get to know you, you know, take time for yourself. And then next to that, I put clean up. Last year in 2014, I told you that I was going through a rough time and I was slacking on my cleaning up. Like my room was a complete mess, let me tell you. The bathroom was a complete mess. Like I would, it's like it was a chore for me to clean up. I hated that, like it was, my room was looking at this exactly how my brain and my inside were looking at because I was so really unhappy. I was going through so many things, you know, around that time. I was not focused and it was really in limbo. And I had a friend who lived close to me who used to invite me over a lot and I felt so, the minute I walked in, it was like, I felt so different. I felt so good. I was cool, but his house was so clean and on point. I'm telling you, it was it was just beautiful. So and then you know, I realized I was like, you know what? Let me try to clean up. And I started doing that. You know, smallly. I would clean up. I would arrange my sandals, arrange my books, arrange my documents. And I realized that I actually was feeling great when the room was nice. So I kept that. And now regularly I'm cleaning up. Like whenever I feel like the it's dusty, you know, as a matter of fact, I go to the when I go to the store, I buy things for the room where I sleep. You know, I organize it because I said to myself, you know what, I spend a lot of time in my room. This is actually where I also do a lot of my work. This is where I just like spend a lot of my time also in the house. So why not make it nice? Because you know, you want your room to be clean, the bathroom, and I don't like people to clean for me because um, I just always feel like they don't do a good job. So I'm just kind of like that, like I'm a little weird. So um, I just like to clean by myself. And number 10, I said have plenty of sex. Yes, you really want to have plenty of sex, but you want to have meaningful sex, okay? Just because I say have plenty of sex, I don't, I'm not telling you to just go out and meet the next person and start having sex with them. Even if you are a man, I, I do not agree with this saying that I can't stand a male whore. Like, excuse the language, but I really can't. Like, I don't understand why, what's so good about being with a man and you walk somewhere with that guy and all the women has done like, being with him so they know the guy that you with. They know the guy. Like as a man, you need to have some type of self-esteem as well to know that you don't want to bed any and every woman, right? You don't want to do that. You want to have some type of esteem. You want you want women to go after you and you want to be like, nah, you know what, I'm good. I don't really like you like that. Like, nah, I'm not having sex with you like that. You know, you want to do that. So um, but having sex is so great, it releases a lot. Um, a lot of harm, you know, it just releases, it makes you more, less stressful, you know, and you, you want to have meaningful sex and sex with someone who really cares for you because what happens is that if you have sex with a man or a woman and you're having sex with the man and you don't even feel, you're not feeling him like that, nine times out of ten you're not going to get an orgasm or you, it's going to be hard for you to come. And also um, what you, what you want to do is you want to be comfortable so that you can pleasure that man or you can pleasure that woman the way that you want to. So in order to do that you guys have to vibe together. You know, in order for you to also be arouse the person, make the person feel good, you know, kiss the person down their ears, you know, touch their cars, you know, suck on the toes. Cut this video out. <laughs> but anyways, guys, those are the ten things that I have for you 
to make your life more enjoyable i hope you enjoyed that particular video because we are going to dive in some pretty interesting topics all right stay tuned for my next video bye